All right, so we're learning about packages. And so far, we have 08. And then we have main.go right here. And we have a folder called stuff. And then in there, we have helpers.go file name, which is in package stuff. And there's this function foo, which returns 42 and in int. And, uh, and I can't get this to import here. So it's not recognizing stuff. And the reason is, I speculate, and this is all a bit new to me, is in the old way of doing Go, you had a Go workspace. And your Go workspace, if you said Go env, you get your Go environment uh, variables and your Go path, your Go path, Go arch, Go bin, Go path pointed towards your Go workspace. Well, that's in, for this computer, users Highlander Go. And so in that location, so right now I'm in uh, users Highlander, and if I switched into Go, so CD into Go, in that location, you would have a bin, a package, and a source. And then inside source, you would have GitHub, like domains, and then inside a domain, so github.com, you would have usernames, and so, you know, not seeing goes to 11, but anyhow, and then, you know, that's the namespacing. And so namespacing is a way of like saying, here is your code from this one individual, and it could keep code separate. So even if we had same packages, if they were in different namespaces, we'd know they're different packages. And, um, and when, when you, with the new way of doing things, Go's dependency management, what's called Go modules, and sorry for those of you who are online that I'm in the dark, it's just this room has either all lighting or no lighting, so. But for Go modules, there's this blog post, Golang blog, and it's a new way of doing code organization without any um, workspace. And it's just you create modules. And so basically, it's, it's a different way. And it does dependency management. And this is where you want to start reading about Go modules. And so when you do Go modules, you want to do an init. And it'll initialize uh, your folder as a place where Go code is, is kept. And you do Go mod init, and you give it some sort of a namespace. And so the namespace that they gave it here is example.com hello. And so we're going to do a Go mod init for this folder that we're working in. And we're in 008. So right now, if I PWD at the terminal, whoops, if I PWD at the terminal down here, print working directory. And I'm in 007, so I'm going to CD up a level and then go into 008. And LSLA shows me all that. But I do go mod init example.com. And it's a, it wants to have a domain and then a domain, a username, and then you could do whatever you wanted, right? So the old name spacing was you had three folders in your workspace, bin, package, and source, correct? And then inside your source folder, you had a do, a, so just a print working directory and come up a level, right? Inside your source folder, you had a domain. And then inside a domain, you had usernames. And then inside a username, you had a repo. So I could go to github.com. And then inside there, I could go to uh, SPF 13. And then inside there, um, I could go to either of those repos. So that was a namespace. So if I was getting code, it knew where it was coming from. So I could create those same namespaces for a module, all right? So I can associate a module with a specific repo at a specific, under a specific username at a specific domain. So as, now that I've said all that, let's do this. I'm going to do this as github.com. I'm going to leave it blank. I'm going to leave it blank. And I think, well, I don't have a, uh, I don't have a dot .git in this folder. So if I came up a level, lsla, and... Uh, if I went up a level, and then LSLA, there's my git. Now if I do go mod init here, I think what it's going to do is it's going to realize this is goes to 11. This is the repo of CIT90 fall 2019. 
and this is at github.com. So if I don't specify that namespace, it'll automatically pick it up from .git. Otherwise, I would say github.com goes to 11, right? This is kind of the namespace I want associated with this module. And, uh, and then the, the repo BCIT 990 fall 2019. We're just going to leave it go mod init, and it's all a little bit new to me still, so we're banging away. And look at what it did. It said new go mod, module github.com goes to 11 CIT 90 fall 2019. So I put this module at my root where I have, and the root is basically the folder from which all other folders descend. This is like the root folder, and then I'm sticking more folders in here, and that's where the hierarchy begins for this project. And so this is my, you know, repo, and this is the root. The root is where the .git folder is stored. And now I did go mod init there, and it, it, it set up the namespacing. And so now if I come back here, I'm thinking that now I might be able to import stuff, right? So here's stuff. I'm just going to save it. And here's this. I'm going to save it. And it didn't automatically pick it up. Let's see what it says. Undeclared stuff. Um, so... You know, to import that, um, stuff is going to be at github.com. So let me just copy all this. Github.com and then forward slash 008 packages and then forward slash stuff. Does it get that? Did it get it? I haven't pushed that yet, so it tried to take me there, right? But it looks like maybe it got it. And so now I'm going to clear this out and CD into uh, 008. And uh, in 008, I have main.go, which is this one. And I'm calling stuff.foo. Stuff.foo is going to return 42, so I'm going to catch that. And, uh, and then my new command is alt, option, down arrow. And I copied that line. And learning VS Code, mixing it up. And now uh, I'm going to see if this all runs. So go run main.go. And I don't think I need to run helpers.go. I think since it's being imported, it'll figure it out. Boom. So that's packages. Right? I created this package helpers. I made a, a, a function which is visible outside the package. I imported that package right here with this namespacing. It's pretty clear who this code comes from and where you go to find it on the web. I'm doing that with Go modules instead of the old workspaces method. And Go version 13, which is coming out soon if it's not already out by the time you watch this video. If you look at golang.org and look at what version we're in, uh, download Go, we're in, at the time of this recording, 112.9. That's pretty dang close to 13. And from this module article, you'll see that by version 13, right, wherever 13 is mentioned the first time, starting in Go 113, module mode will be the default for all development. So older projects, you could probably flip a flag and go back to workspaces, but these new projects are going to be all module-based. And instead of having to worry about the Go path, so the Go E and V variables, instead of worrying about the Go path, Right? There's now going to be this thing, go cache. And so that will be, I think, kind of like your, uh, your, uh, your bin, your bin, I don't know. Or it might be your package. I haven't completely figured it out. I haven't researched it yet. Um, found the right answer. But that's pretty interesting. So that is creating a package. And using modules, that was kind of a big chunk. Let's practice it. So you all go try that out now.